Hi there, my name's Chris and I thought it'd be useful to take you on a journey through our concept upholstery range. Hi, I'm Laura and I'm the creative manager at William Yeward. Today for me um, is working on new collections, developing all the product categories, so from initial concepts um, to sampling to approval and everything in between, working closely with Chris, um, our CEO and creative director. So yeah, lots of creative things going on all the time. I'd say the Yoad style is fairly classic but with a modern twist so it makes it a little bit different. My name's Karina and I'm a product developer here at William Yoad. I think the most important thing when designing a sofa is making sure that it's truly comfortable, super versatile. It's been a labour of love to develop this range. The process to take a new model from the design stage all the way through to first prototype probably takes us about 6 to 12 months. Every time that I visit our workshops, I learn something new, um, which fascinates me. I thought it would be really useful to take you on a journey from start to finish so that you can see everything that goes into making a really beautiful piece of furniture. The detail that goes into the number of people that work on each piece, the time it takes to get each piece right. It's a really, really interesting journey and I hope you enjoy it. We took the whole Yoa team to our workshops and as I expected, it was a learning curve for each and every one of us. What really amazed me on this last visit was understanding how complicated it is to take a chair design, for instance, and create all of the component parts that you never see. All the component parts that are cut by hand to make up the frame before you even start to turn it into a chair. We could have looked abroad, we could have gone to Italy, we could have gone to France to make upholstery. The truth is, here in the United Kingdom, in England, we have a great tradition of making very high quality, very beautiful furniture. So for us, it was a no-brainer that we would stay here in England and make our furniture close to home. Making our furniture here in England allows our team to work very closely with the upholstery workshop that is developing the piece of furniture. So we're able to visit frequently, we're regularly looking at the size of an arm, the shape of an arm, the depth of a seat, we're sitting on it, we're making sure it's as comfortable as we feel it needs to be, and we scrutinise each piece until we're absolutely sure it's as perfect as it can be. William Yard has been making beautiful furniture for over 35 years and we're well known for it. Why did we start Concept Furniture? To be honest with you, we wanted to take our beautiful models out of the drawing room and into the living room and other spaces around the home. We wanted to create a range with a different point of view that was excessively priced, but with all the hallmarks of quality, comfort, artisanship, and detail. We obviously design our shapes so that our customers can choose whatever fabric they want and a fabric will, by its very nature, completely change the look of a piece. If you choose to upholster a sofa in a printed pattern versus a plain linen, for instance, or if you choose to put it in velvet versus a chenille weave, 
Each model will change with the fabric. So much thought has to go in to making sure that a piece of furniture that we design isn't just about the design, that it really, really is about the comfort and the quality. We want our pieces to be really, really usable, but to stay smart, sophisticated and feel timeless. A huge amount of thought goes into each and every one of our shapes. Once we have identified shapes that we think are right for our range, these are designed, they're drawn in detail, and we start the prototyping process. Where our furniture ultimately gets used will depend on our customer, and it will depend very much on the fabric it's been upholstered in. We do design our pieces so that they are very versatile. As I say, we want to make sure that whatever the piece, whether more contemporary or whether more classic in its look, it is actually all about comfort, timelessness, craftsmanship and detail. It's about the finish. It's a very well constructed, very beautifully made piece of furniture. That's the point of concept. Once we've developed a piece, or pieces, we decide on the season that we're going to launch it. We then look at whatever else we're launching within the William Yard stable, our fabric collections, we'll choose fabrics, and we'll plan to put it into our photo shoot. And that's really very often the moment that that piece of furniture comes to life for us. So we've been looking at it, sitting in it for many, many, many months, but when it actually arrives on shoot in the fabric we've selected and we place it in a room set in a beautiful home, that's when our piece of furniture come to life. I really hope that you've enjoyed our little tour and the sneak peek behind the scenes of how William Yard Concept Upholstery is made. Um, it was really important, I think, for us to show you what we do and why we do it. But more than that, to, to show you just how much work and how many people are involved in making just one piece of furniture and the amount of attention and detail and love that goes into each piece. If I was pushed, I would probably say that the Shawville sofa and modular group is a signature Yearwood piece now. The Shawville? It's got to be the Shawville. No, the Shawville was our very first um, shape that we launched and I think it's been a popular one ever since and we've just sort of grown from there. Um, but it still remains at the core of the collection. It's the OG. <laughs> <laughs>